Ah, uh, how did this all happen? Is this really the world I'm gonna be trapped in the rest of my life? Oh, wait, he's dead. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay, I guess I don't have to do the voice anymore. Oh, yeah, but back to how this all started. It all started three weeks ago. If anybody finds out what I did to you in the mutator, I could get arrested. By then, Zachary became my lab rat. Get me out of here, you old man! Now, Zachary, this is the very last test. You'll pay for this. Zachary? What? I need to get out of here before he does another experiment on me. Who knows what he'll try doing. Good thing I figured out how to sound scary though. If I didn't do that voice, he could have killed me. If I'm correct, I think I remember the sequence to make this portal open. Oh my gosh, it's working! It's actually working! I'm not gonna miss this opportunity to get out of here. It's now or never. This, this can't be! He actually got the portal open! This can't be! You'll pay for this. Actually, this can work to my advantage. I'm going to shut down this portal forever! Uh, what's going on? What, what was that noise? Ah, uh, the raider says the portal opened. What, 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 do, what do you mean? I, I thought the portal wasn't even working anymore. I, I thought it was a failed science experiment. Uh, I did as well. Wait. What's that down there? What? What do you mean? What? Who is that? I don't know, but from what the raider is telling me, he's the one who opened the portal. This can't be. I just escaped this place. How are you still here? What are you talking about? I've never seen you in my whole entire life. Uh, wait a minute. What if he's from an alternate world? You remember the research we did on connecting to one of them? What if it's all true? But how can that be possible? We've came across every equation for that to be possible! Wait, are you telling me this is an alternate world? But wait, I don't get it. It's a bit confusing, but you see, if my theory is correct, this is Earth-89, and you're from Earth-1 from what my radar can tell me. So how do you even know my brother anyways? Well, on my Earth, he used to be my science teacher until he captured me and turned me into a lab rat. <laughs> I always knew you had an evil side to your brother. <laughs> That's hilarious. This isn't a laughing matter, Rick. Shut up! What if the alternate evil me is after this guy? Ah, oh, that's easy! We'll just use our negative 9 million volt taser! No! That could kill someone from Earth-1, you peanut head! Ah, this confirms it! If I am right, you are from Earth-1, but there's a problem! The energy signal that you came from, it, it died down about an hour ago! So in portal traveling dimensions, you've been traveling for about a whole month now! That's why you're at Earth-89! Wait, are you saying I can't go back to my home forever? Well, yeah, since the signal's dead, you're pretty much stuck with us. Well, on the bright side, the evil me can't get to you. So, we'll shut down this portal until we figure out what's going on. A until now, just, just make yourself at home. Really, you're probably gonna be here your whole life. That's not making me feel better at all, man. What, did I say something wrong? Oh, I can't believe it. So I'm actually stuck here forever. Guess they're right, though. If I'm gonna be here forever, Maybe I should start a new life. This can't be! We just checked! How, how is this possible? What's going on? Well, if I'm correct, the portal's gonna reopen from two weeks from now because of his energy signal. It's drawing him to a planet called Earth-98. How is that even possible? We gotta warn him. Quick, maybe there's a way to shut it down. Hey brother, get over here. I have a problem. What is it? Did you find him? Well, actually, no. He just left the science lab like five minutes ago. We gotta go after him and warn him. Quick, if we don't find him soon, he's gonna be in trouble. Well, here I am. I guess it is time to start a new life on this planet. Where a better place to start than school? I can meet new people, make new friends. I can already imagine life being normal again. Wow, today is so amazing. I murdered the real principal and stole his identity. And on top of that, I look just like Mitt Romney. No one's gonna know the difference between principals. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, what is it? What do you want? I mean, welcome to the school. What's up? How can I help you? Do you want Skittles? Well, not exactly. I wanted to enroll at this school, please. 
Oh, totally. I knew that. I didn't murder the real principal. No, no, I would never do something like that. Um, okay then? Perfect. You'll be enrolled tomorrow. Class starts at 6 a.m. But remember to tell everyone I'm the real principal and that their other principal didn't get murdered by me. No, no, no. Just remember, I look like Mitt Romney. No one's gonna know the difference. Uh, okay then? You're kind of freaking me out then. But thank you so much for enrolling me in the school. I can't wait. I guess I'll see everyone tomorrow then. Thank you, sir. Hopefully I didn't make it too obvious I murdered the real principal. Man, I can't believe it's already been a whole week on this new Earth. I, I mean, at this new school. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just really happy to be here. I, I was just being random, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta go anyways. I have to finish uh, that one math test uh, from Mr. Stick. Oh, okay. Well, see you after school, Mitchie. Uh, yeah, uh, see ya, Zach. Uh, maybe I should tell her about where I'm actually from. It would probably be better to be honest with her. Wait, what? You need to come with me now. We have a problem. Whoa, how do you even get here? And what do you mean a type of problem? I'm starting a new life just like you guys told me. Well, you might have to start a life somewhere else if you don't follow me. What? What do you mean by that? Okay, I'll, I'll go. L let's go. Uh, Solzak, we, we wanted you to come back here for a specific reason. You see, your energy is pretty much opening a new portal, and if this portal opens, well, uh, you, you're gonna be sucked into it, and pretty much stuck there, and you'll also lose your memory. Earth 98, to be exact. Oh my god, is that a shark with a laser pointer on its head? Holy! You idiot, Zack, pay attention to what we're trying to tell you right now. Oh, I I'm sorry, it's just I've never seen a shark with a laser. Like, that's freaking awesome. What were you saying, though? There's literally no hope for him. So, Zach, when you were leaving our lab, some of our sensors picked up an energy signature off of you. And basically, it's exactly like the portal. So we believe you're the only one who can close it. Wait, so how am I supposed to do that? You idiot, that's the point. We don't know. That's why we were going to ask you. Ugh, just, just follow us. We'll, we'll show you what we mean. You see, Zach, this is what we've been talking about. Wait, what the heck? But that's the mutator. How's it opening up into a portal? The mutator? But that was a project that we discontinued. I guess our alternate selves actually completed it. Well, not to be exact. I only saw your brother there, Brick, and, well, technically he was the evil one who basically wanted to mutate all my cells and DNA. Jeez, you don't have to be so hard. It wasn't me. It was my alternate self. We're missing the point here, though. The point is, we, we gotta find a way to close it before it's too late. Guys, it's been a whole day, and the portal's not getting any smaller. I don't know how to do it. What are we gonna do? I, I hate to say it, Zach, but you're pretty much screwed. Ah, uh, don't tell him that. Uh, I mean, it's the truth, but we don't want him to be depressed or anything. We're sorry, Zach, but we, we don't know how to even close it ourselves. No, this can't be happening. So I'm actually going to be sucked into a portal again? Yeah, and pretty much lose your whole entire memory. Might be a good idea to say goodbye to the people you met on this earth. Uh, I guess you're right. What am I going to tell Mitchie? 